Well, for the last month, Austin ISD has seen a spike in COVID-19 cases. There has been a 35% increase this week alone. The rise comes as the White House says vaccinating elementary age students is off to a strong start with 900,000 children ages 5 to 11 getting their first dose of the vaccine already. KXAN Morning News anchor Sally Hernandez spoke with an expert about the challenge to vaccinate children. I think the challenge is that even right now, uh, older children are only about half vaccinated. So part of the challenge here is not just making the vaccine available. And we know we have millions of doses out there that are ready to go in pediatricians offices and pharmacists and community health centers. But we've actually got to get those kids and their parents access to those vaccines. We have to explain it well and we have to make it easy for them. What are the side effects for the five to 11 year olds? So the good news is the side effects are about the same as they are in older kids and adults. And in fact, they seem to be less severe. Kids are pretty resilient. They're used to getting vaccines. And uh, so they kind of muddle through it. They might feel a little uh, ill or a little bit sore for a day or two. Uh, but really, we've seen and, and here's the really good news. We, we haven't really seen any of the incidences of even though it's a small test population, we haven't seen some of the, the more serious but overcomable side effects that we've seen in adults. What about the parents who say no, they are still not going to vaccinate their kids, even though the vaccine is available to them? So we've got about a, a third of families out there that are saying they probably won't get their kids vaccinated. I, I hope that they're willing to talk to their pediatricians, to their members of their community, people who have gotten vaccinated. I hope they'll talk to their grandmothers and aunts and uncles who have been vaccinated and those who perhaps are uh, a little sicker or a little older that are around those kids. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Starting this Monday, the Travis County Mobile Vaccine Collaborative will give COVID-19 vaccines to children. Now, that does not include the Travis County Expo location. No appointments are required and a parent or a guardian must be present. Now, to find a vaccine clinic near you, we do have a link on our website, kxan.com.